All right, some wild rain out there today, and mm -hmm. even we just had another burst come over our studio mm -hmm. here, even though I thought we were done with it, so the, the little waves continue. Well, you weren't listening at four, obviously. That's I fine. I know. Uh, I'm uh, glad it's you being thrown under the bus I, this for time. For a change. <laughs> it's where he takes it well. No, I, I, cause, cause I, only because I literally was like, yeah, if you're seeing sun now, just be aware there are still even some showers possible. around. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, I'm glad rain. that we saw any sun because I originally didn't really think we'd break the, out. So Yeah, the day turned around. We'll take it. We'll take it. We got some downpours <laughs> out there still, though, as, as Brian noted. And a lot of those are happening in the area of the state that broke out to some sunshine. And then that sun destabilized the atmosphere further, which tends to happen this time of the year. You can see those showers and storms. They're one that just went right over the Portland area, a couple to the north, too. Most of these are fizzling now, but they did have some downpours in them when they moved through. Most of this heavy rain is out of here. You can see the area that has cleared out, which is now a good part of the state. It took a while, but now we've got over half the state, it looks like, uh, cleared out. So at least some late day sun, which again, when I looked at today, a couple of days ago, I would have thought pretty much rain from start to finish. So we'll take any sun we can get. This was all influenced, remember, by Franklin. So not the uh, tropical system you're hearing a lot about. This one's out over the ocean, but it had infused some of that moisture into that front this morning and got it kind of juiced up for those downpours. So once the showers end in the next few hours, uh, this front has gone through, dew points go down, temperatures go down, a lot of sun tomorrow. We're pretty much sunny the whole day, only in the low 70s, feels a bit fallish because of those low, low, low dew points and also northwest winds that are a little bit gusty. And then we incrementally just get a little warmer Friday into the mid 70s, Saturday into the upper 70s. But notice nothing really happening here on this predictive radar and, and cloud cover. There's, there's nothing. It's just nice and sunny. And I'll take that. Go through the next few days that way. Mega Ridge comes in. There's one little chance of a shower, I think, in the next five to seven days, and that's overnight Saturday. There's a little disturbance in there. But if you don't get that, we're probably talking about the next chance of rain being late next week because this ridge is in place. It slides east, winds turn southwest, particularly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we start to warm up. So our temperature trend is pretty flat initially, and then we start to warm into uh, the holiday and also right after it. Now this is coast. Inland, I could see some upper 80s, especially on Tuesday and Monday. So, yeah, it's the best stretch of weather of the summer, I think. I'm trying to remember, Memorial Day weekend was good, but I don't think it was like seven days good of nice weather. Yeah, I think it was a no. small window. Yeah, like it hit right, but I don't believe that it was quite... Um, this night. And I'm taking this victory lap. I refuse to not take it. First week of September. Every time. It's, every you say time. it's always nice. It's unbelievable. Take it. And you're taking Friday off because you knew. Because I, I took that off months ago. Yeah. Months ago. <laughs> That's why you're a forecaster. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks.